I'm asking you and your family today to reach down into your pockets and hand over $360 per household for the failing public school system in Newark. Don't want to do that? Well, it's too late. The governor's already taken it from you. With $1.2 billion already allocated in this state budget, that's 10 times what we're allocating for military and veterans affairs. It's about 200 million more than we're allocating to law and public safety. And it's roughly the same number as the entire state budget for healthcare. Last week, I had to sit through the unveiling of this disaster in the state budget address, which kind of makes watching paint dry seem like a good time. We knew it was gonna be bad, but we didn't know it was gonna be this bad. $56 billion, a $2 billion increase from last year, and they raided the state surplus for another $2 billion. But the absolute worst part of the entire painful experience was what happened to our kids in our schools. At one point in this clip here, the governor flat out bragged about fully funding the school funding formula. We will be the first administration in our state's history to fully fund New Jersey's school funding formula. Maybe he and I have different definitions of fully funding and fully invested, because in my district, schools lost roughly $3 million off of last year's already lowered state aid numbers. Even worse, if you take out the supplemental stabilization aid from last year, which currently is missing, it adds another $12 million loss to the school kids in the 10th district. That's a number that simply cannot be made up. Staff will need to be laid off, after school programs and sports will need to be cut. But the governor has an awful plan for that too. They'll probably allow towns to go over the 2% cap on tax increases. So boards of education in my district will be forced to tax their residents to death so their kids can get the same level of education they received just a few years back. All this after taking money out of your pockets left and right for other schools where the per student funding levels are almost twice what it costs to educate a kid at the Jersey Shore. So how did they make these decisions? Well, like most things, they take no accountability themselves. They blame it on this vague and mysterious school funding formula, one that they refuse to give the full data on. Even as a state assemblyman, I can't get access to the facts and figures. And it's because it's all fake bullshit. There's even been successful lawsuits to pull back the curtain on this, yet still the state refuses to release the final numbers. They say the computer deletes calculations immediately after computing everything. They think everyone's an idiot while they're there in a dark room sending more money to Democrat strongholds while screwing over conservative areas left and right. Over the next few weeks and months, my office will be filing multiple requests with the Department of Education and the state treasury to try and pull away the curtain here. We already know there will be denial after denial, but we refuse to go down quietly. We're scheduling meetings with the most drastically affected school districts in Toms River and Brick, and if we have to literally bus school kids to the steps of the state house in Trenton, we'll do that too. The families of the 10th district work too damn hard to have their kids' education and future stolen by partisan politics. Help me stand up to this insanity and tell Trenton to truly help fully fund 10th district schools. Get right, New Jersey.